Hello, I am Wilhelm Swingpike, and I'm here to welcome you to Max's Mad Mythic Mercenary. If you're unfamiliar, this is a quick story of what we've been up to while we start our campaign again. We are a group of friends that are playing Dungeons & Dragons, three of us for the very first time, and we are playing Dragon Heist at Waterdeep. Our dungeon master, Max, is running us through the story, and I'm hoping that I can run through everything we've done so far in less than five minutes. So let's put me on the timer and let's go. So first we want to introduce our main players. The first one is Roland Jitaro. He is a human. He is not a native to Waterdeep, but he's lived here for quite some time now. He's been a mercenary for most of his life. His mother was also a famous mercenary, and he's mostly just making a buck in Waterdeep, hanging out. Then we have his brother-in-law, Fen Merrick. Fen married Roland's sister. He is a wood elf. All we know so far, at least all I know as Wilhelm, is that Fen got Roland's sister killed somehow, and he's come to Waterdeep to try and get more information about why she was killed. Then we have the lovely Alu Drakar. Alu is an ASMR and she is a rogue. She, you know, is very mysterious. What we know about her so far is she is a water Davian. She's native to Waterdeep and she comes from a pretty well-off merchant family. We're not sure why she's stealing, but she is also a business partner of mine. I like to write out certificates of authenticity to help her fence her stolen goods. And next we have the lovely Holly Rees Go Delicately. As you know, the Go Delicately family is a very famous family in Waterdeep. This lady is mad wealthy. Her mother is a patron of mine. She helps fund my script writing, which I am always greatly appreciative. Holly Rees is a half-elf, and she's been going to wizarding school for some time now. I think she likes to party a good amount. I, I think she's still a little young and naive, but I'll never cross her because I don't want to get turned into a frog. Finally, of course, there is me. I'm just a human. I'm just a guy. I mostly just ended up hanging out with these guys because one day I went to the yawning portal and I ran into Roland and I met his brother-in-law there. And then I saw Holly Rees and Alu already had a table secured because Holly Rees rolls like that. She gets a table wherever she wants. So we decided to swing by over and join him for some food and drinks. While we were in the Yawning Portal, we saw Yagra Stonefist get assaulted by some Zentarum goons. So being the brave and clever warriors that Roland and I are, I pushed Roland into the fight to help her out, rescue the lovely lady. We ended up breaking up the fight. I used some skills that I have to trick everyone into thinking the guards were coming to break up the fight and we had a pretty good time. Shortly afterwards, a troll came out of the yawning portal. He came out from under the under mountain. He was joined by some Sturges. They started causing some havoc. We mostly didn't do much. We were pretty ineffective until Durnan took care of the troll, but I guess we were effective enough because Volo, the famous Volo, came and joined us at our table afterwards and said that he would like our help to find his buddy Floon. This is Floon Blagmar. He looks a lot like Reiner Never Ember, which we found out in our search. We said, sure, if you're paying us, you know, 50 gold pieces, as well as a favor that he said he promised Holly, then yeah, we'll go help look for your buddy. We went around, dug a little bit on the docks, asked some people. We found out that, yes, Bloon was last seen with Reiner Never Ember. The two were out drinking and they got jumped apparently. And we followed the trace back to a Zentarum warehouse on Candle Lane in Waterdeep. So there we got in. By the time we got in, we found a bunch of Kenkus that had slaughtered the Zentarum guards. We didn't really know why they were there. Our communication wasn't very effective, but I was able to successfully avoid a fight. The Kinkus went on their merry way. And while we were there, we looked in a closet, a locked closet, and we found Reiner. So yay, we've rescued one of the duo. Not the one we're getting paid to rescue, but no problem there. The guards came shortly afterwards. They came to the warehouse and they helped uh, take Reiner home while we went into a secret entrance into the sewer. Fen tripped and fell in the feces. Uh, which was very funny to me. Holly, being the badass wizard that she was, she killed a gazer as we worked our way into what we discovered was a Xanathar stronghold. There, unfortunately, Alu, while she was scouting out goblins, she murdered a couple of them. Rog the goblin is one that uh, was really just sleeping there. She fucking slit his throat, so apparently I'm running with a bunch of crazies, which I didn't realize. Roland, he, we, we got into a fight with 
a dark dwarf. Alu started a fight, you know, she's pretty hot-headed apparently. Uh, while Roland killed the dark dwarf, Holly one-shot Fen in the <clears throat> back of the head with a crossbow. It was mwah, chef's kiss. We ended up running into our buddy Prince, who fought with Yagra. Prince is working to keep the ooze kind of at bay, but while we helped him out with the ooze, we ended up talking, and it turned out, you know, besides some racism towards orcs and half-orcs, which I think is unfortunate, and we're going to work on that, Kritz was a pretty effective middle management in the Xanathar's Guild. He cared about his goblin employees, and we convinced him to give us some helpful information and to walk away for now. He definitely, there was some unappreciation felt by Kritz against his boss, Rumshar, so we took advantage of that. But we got Kritz to help us uh, dress up like Xanathar's Guild members and go ahead into uh, the headquarters to see if we could pull Floon out, which... Apparently, the Xanathar's Guild kidnapped him from the Zentarum because they thought he was Reiner. So apparently everyone's trying to get Reiner for some reason. By this point, we, we went up into the main headquarters of this hideout, and we found Grumshar, the half-orc, or orc, he's a wizard of some sort, and we found a Mind Flare! Yay, Mifflor! Uh, I was scared shitless, but we found out that the two of them were interrogating Reiner to find the location of some sort of vault that we know nothing about yet, just that there is a vault that they're trying to get information out of. We ended up being able to pass ourselves off as the new help, and we convinced Niflor to leave while we would interrogate Reiner and then get Niflor the information he wanted. So once, as soon as Niflor was gone, because there was no fucking way we were going to fight him, we killed Rumshar super quickly. Alu, again, being the murderous she-beast that she is, fucking slit his throat without a second's notice. I started feeling some regret for my part in this just complete butchery that was going on. And to that end, I'm going to see if I can find Grog's family and get them the life insurance money that the Xanathar's Guildo that Krintz negotiated, because it is really unfortunate. But we were able to rescue Floon at that point. We got Floon out of the sewers, we got him back to Volo, and Volo, being the cheap bastard that he is, he didn't have the gold on hand that he promised us. But what he gave to us instead was a deed to Troll Skull Manor. So he gave us a deed, we negotiated, he said that it's apparently haunted by a poltergeist, which we thought would be a pretty cool attraction, so we got the, him to throw in insurance on the geist. Reiner said he'd run the actual legality of transferring the deed and the cost of all that those fees which we appreciate so we went to troll skull manor and we checked it out for it was by this point it was pretty late at night we checked out the manor at night we thought eh, it's pretty dingy it needs some cleanup we'll go crash in our various places around Waterdeep and then come back in the morning. So Alu went with her family in the city. Roland apparently went to his hovel and Fen is crashing on his floor because he doesn't have a couch. Holly Rees lives in a very lovely mansion, so I decided to go pay my respects to her mother, spent the night there. I had to slip off in the night to run a quick errand, don't worry about it, no, no big deal. And then we came back in the morning. And when we came back to Troll Skull Manor in the morning, we went upstairs, we heard some knocking around, and there was a halfling just squatting in squalor on our second floor of our new establishment. We chased him out, he shouted, the gutter rats will be back, apparently, and he escaped through a sewer entrance in the basement. Afterwards, we got someone from the Dung Sweepers Guild to come lock up that sewer for us, and that's basically it. The last thing we did was just make friends with Leaf and get the tavern, you know, we started taking inventory of what we need to do to get the tavern working. This was not five minutes, this was ten, closer to ten, but that is what we did last time on Waterdeep Dragon Heist as Max's Mad Mythic Mercenaries, and we hope to catch you next week as we continue our adventure. See you soon, everyone. Bye!